We'll start this tutorial with a triangle that's already been created. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the angle bisectors for each of these angles. So we'll say from, remember that we sweep from, sweep in a counterclockwise manner. So I'll click here and here, and I'll click here, here, and finally here, here. You notice that these angle bisectors intersect at a single point. In fact, let's locate that point specifically, D. Now this is kind of messy, right? Um, and so it might actually be difficult for students to really grasp what's happening. So if I want to hide some of these features, what you can do is you can go over and notice um, I'm going to hide some of these lines so that it's easier to see what's going on. All you need to do is press the little colored button next to what it is that you want to hide or show. If you click it again, of course, it comes back up. So here's a way that we can actually you know, simplify our pictures so that students can focus on what we need them to focus on. Um, the other thing that I can do is I could actually put some of these back in. And, um, and I might want to hide them in a different way. And in fact, what you can do is under um, this button that where we had the slider, we can do a checkbox to show or hide objects. So I'm just going to click anywhere over here. Caption is going to say hide. Or, yeah, um, let, let me just put angle bisectors. And then we select what it is that we want to hide or show. And for us, we're trying to hide or show this line E. We're trying to hide and show um, G. And we're trying to hide and show I. And so we'll apply. Notice that right now they're showing. And so we've got the little checkbox there. If I click, let me go back over to the Move tool. If I click, they're hidden. Show them, hidden. So this can be a, a great tool to help kids to focus on exactly what it is that you're trying to get them to look at.